welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on um, the February birthstone, which is amethyst. Here's the picture of the stone. Um, the look that we did today is very, very similar to it. I think that this one is more similar to the birthstone than January. Um, it was definitely easier to get a really bright purple look than a really bright red look. But um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So if you're interested in getting this makeup look and seeing how I did this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with the MAC 24 hour extended eye base, of course. My eyebrows are a little bit crazy right now. I definitely need to pluck them, but I have not had time. So excuse my eyebrows. So next I'm going to set the primer and I'm just going to use my Tartlet palette by Tarte and I'm going to take um, the color Free Spirit right here with a Sephora shadow brush and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. First we're going to start with the crease and I'm just going to be using the Tartlet palette still. Um, and I'm going to start with my MAC 286 and use um, Wanderer as my transition shade today. Right, just how I always do it. The very upper crease area, very lightly. And any really large, fluffy crease blending brush will do. But I really like this one by MAC, so I always use it. Next, I'm going to use the color Power Player right here. Um, it's kind of like a more grayish brown. And with the same brush, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit and go right under what I just did. I'm going to take this dark purple shade right here, it's called Bombshell, with my MAC 217. And with this, I'm using a very light hand as well, because with these darker crease colors, you don't want to go in too heavy all at once. You just kind of want to slowly build the color so that it's not um, patchy looking. I'm going to be using these colors in the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. So first I'm going to take Sketch, this middle purple shade right here, and I'm going to take this brush by Sephora. It's called the Base Shadow Brush. It's um, a pretty big shadow brush and I'm going to spray it with my Fix Plus. And I'm going to get the shadow on there. I'm going to start packing this onto the outer half of my eye. And don't worry if you covered up the crease a little bit because we'll go through and make sure it still looks good afterwards. I'm going to use um, this brush. It's a smudge. It's called Smudge Brush. It's literally the exact same thing that I just used but in a smaller version. And I'm going to spray that with Fix Plus as well. Color Paranoia over here. It looks more pink but maybe it'll be purpley. And then to like blend the colors better um, together a little better, I'm gonna take more of this and just kind of 
try to like fuse the colors together so that they blend from one to the next instead of just harshly changing. Next, I'm gonna take my 217 again with the darkest um, purple one up here. It's called Delirious. And I'm gonna take that through the crease. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, the color Fashionista right here with this brush that came in the Urban Decay Smoky palette. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this black shadow right on the outer corner. The next thing I'm gonna do is foundation and I'm gonna do foundation on screen today because I just got new foundation. This is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I don't know if it has some fancy name, but this is in the shade Alabaster and I just bought it yesterday and I've only swatched it. I've never worn it on my face before, so I'm excited to see how this goes. So I am just going to draw it on. I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender with the Prep and Prime because it's a stick foundation so I wanna make sure it blends out really good. And just The color I got matches really well and all I did was swatch it on my hand which normally won't be good enough to test out your color because your hand is different than your face but I'm pale right now so I figured it would match pretty good. I might have been able to go one shade darker because it does look a little bit pale, but I do have some redness on my cheeks and my forehead, so that might be why it makes me feel like I'm good. The next thing we're gonna do is conceal the under eyes, and I'm using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer, as usual. Now we need to set the under eyes. I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder with my e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows because it's really bothering me <laughs> that they're not filled in. Just doing the same thing I always do. And then I'm gonna set my eyebrows with the Benefit Ready Set Brow. Alright, now we're gonna go and do the under eyes. So first, I'm gonna use a MAC 219 brush, and I'm gonna take Sketch right here, go right under here. This is an angled liner brush. I am going to take the black 
um, Fashionista from the Tartlet palette and go right on the lash line. Not in the waterline, just on the lash line. Now I'm going to put on my eyelashes. I'm using the Demi Wispies by Ardell. I always use tweezers to do it. Um, it makes it a lot easier if you have a hard time. And I use the Duo Glue, the clear one. Um, I've tried the black one and the white one, but for me, they don't stick as well. And this clear stuff, well, it comes with a little brush, which is cool. So it's easy to apply to the lash, and it just sticks better. And it seems like it dries faster, so that it's not as difficult to put on. So you just want to wait a second until the glue um, gets tacky, not until it's completely dry because then it won't stick at all. The best way to do it is stick them in the middle and then put down, stick it down the outer corner and then the inner corner. Today I'm going to use this mascara by Lancome, Lancome, whatever you call it. This is the Instant Full Body Volume Mascara, Hypnostrama. I'm sorry, all the wording has come off, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Now, we're going to finish our face. I'm going to use my Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops on my cheekbones. So I'm just going to use the little dropper and kind of draw it, that's like crazy, <laughs> draw it on my cheekbones, on my nose a little bit. With my beauty blender I'm going to spray it as usual and blend out that liquid metal, basically is what it is. It's just really pretty. Then I'm going to do bronzer. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, which I use quite often in the shade Medium Tan. So, with my, and with my MAC 135. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. I'm going to put it down my neck as well since it's looking really pale. And the rest of my body is not as pale as my neck, it's just... I guess my neck really stays out of the sun. So, if you have a pale neck, feel free to put some bronzer. Make sure you get all the way back here. Down there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my forehead. I contoured my nose and just my cheekbones a little bit. Then last thing is blush and highlighter and then we'll do our lips. Um, the Becca by Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Hill and Becca, whatever, their collaboration and my Sephora Pro Fan Brush. It's um, a little messed up. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this highlighter. I mean it's just like what more could you need? Okay. And I really want an intense highlight today. So looks like that's what I'm gonna get. Please ignore my this right now. We're gonna blend it out so it's not so. I mean, 
that's not an intense highlight, then I don't know what is. Okay, I'm gonna go down my nose. And I'm gonna do some blush today since it's pretty purpley pink. Um, I'm gonna use this one. I think it's the Rose Spritz one with my Real Techniques blush brush. And just a little bit. All right, take the big Sephora bronzer brush, which I never use for bronzer, and blend all my stuff out so that I don't look so crazy. This is like such a good trick too. You want it to all look very cohesive. So the last thing we're gonna do for the face before we do lips is set it with the Fix Plus. All right. Okay, so at this point, of course, you can do a nude lip. You know, whatever you want. Since I'm doing this whole purple amethyst thing, I thought I would do purple lips to match my eyes. So of course, I'm using my palette that I've been using the past couple of videos, and I'm gonna try to make a purple color. So this might just make like a really poopy looking color. We'll see. Okay, here's my color. This is um, Wetsuit in the Rainforest of the Sea Lipsticks by Tarte. I don't know exactly what it's called. But it's Tarte, the Rainforest of the Sea line. Which is exclusively at Sephora or online at Tarte.com. So this is Amethyst. This is the birthstone for um, February. Um, I think that the colors that we did turned out really great. Um, so yeah, this is the February birthstone. So I hope that you like this purple amethyst inspired look today and stay tuned for the next coming videos. Thanks, bye.